Welcome guys, it's your boy the Dragon Eater of the Year. Today we are playing a very nice game uh, called CK2 or as we all know Crusader Kings 2. And there is actually a third game of this that I might buy, just might buy. And you know it's a very nice game. But one thing I don't like about this game and I, I honestly have it with almost every Paradox strategy game is that it has a lot of DLCs and pretty much hold up let me just do this really quick the music is so so fucking loud holy fuck but uh, yeah like the things that you want to do is hidden behind the paywall and I understand that but still it's annoying right because you like you open the game and you're like oh vikings uh the high middle ages middle ages like here you have the early middle ages you have viking age you have the iron century middle ages and you have the late middle ages and then maybe you maybe you didn't see it and you're like bro i want to pay this and then you see uh, I mean play this and then you see required DLC is not activated so you basically need to buy it and then you're like oh, okay then okay I can't play in these periods of time so I'll just play the later periods so let's take the iron century so that's very nice oh wow look at all these possibilities but maybe you don't see it because it's a little bit smaller than like the country icons or region icons whatever the fuck you want to call it and then you're like okay but this also is behind the paywall and you know I get it they're like trying to make money and shit but come on man it feels like I'm playing a mobile game where everything is behind the paywall but overall even though I kind of dislike this it's still a nice game so we're gonna play in the iron century which is this time period and we're gonna play as England but we're, we're gonna play as uh, Ethelstan as the son of Edward the Elder he gained the kingdom of Mercia oh I know that kingdom actually after the death of his father and Wessex after the death of his brother only weeks afterwards waging war against the Norsemen in York Ethelstan is pushed northwards and took the city in nine you know I'm actually not really interested in that time period Let's take the high middle ages. And I want to take William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror, a descendant of King Chief Rollo. Viking Chief Rollo. Oh, that reminds me of a certain guy from a certain show called Vikings. Became Duke of Normandy at a very young age. A situation compounded by the fact that he was also a bastard. Early on he was constantly being used as a pawn by rival factions in the duchy with a succession of his guardians, yada yada. And yes, I know Rollo is also a IRL character. Uh, I mean, person that lived in real life. Alright, so let's take him. William the Conqueror of Normandy. So yeah, we will keep these things off because, you know, I just kind of want to keep it not too hard or something I don't know if I make dumb dumb uh, what you call it dumb choices in this uh, gameplay video then please tell me what's this oh, I can like edit it a bit that's interesting but let's keep it at 1066 oh hold up I fucked it up, sorry. We already know who we want to play. William the Conqueror, yes. I'd start game, start game. Alright, so. Yeah. I haven't done that much of fighting, so we're gonna see. Alright, so welcome to Crusader Kings 2. In Crusader Kings 2 you play as a succession of medieval rulers from a single dynasty. 
there's no set goal but the world is filled with ambitious rivals secure more land to increase your power and protect your family you cannot hold infinite amounts of land yourself to expand you will need to rely on vessel rulers keep them happy with titles and gifts lest they decide to revolt the game will end in 1452 if your line can stay in power that long right well we're not gonna play for that long but you know it's nice we're gonna put the speed actually quite high like this because i'm kind of too impatient to be waiting for a long time so we, we King Philippe of France has transferred the vassalage of Count Raoul of Vexen to Duke William the Bastard. Oh. Wait, transferred the vassalage of Count. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate, or is that a bad thing? I don't know. Let's see. Army of Duke Gurf. England! But we don't want that to happen. So we just. Eat those. Also, when someone dies, I've replaced a certain sound effect for that. You're gonna hear it when someone dies. I hope. I just hope it works because it's a mod. Hold up, guys. I gotta rear game options audio. I gotta put this a bit lower because. I just feel like y'all won't be able to hear me. What's this? Oh, okay then. Um, to the most excellent Duke William II, peace be with you. We propose that Richard become the guardian and mentor of little William the Normandy, so he can be raised as a proper French Catholic. Yeah, sure. Why not? Richard the Normandy. We got William the Normandy. Sicilia the Normandy. Oh, but he's the second. And here we got Robert. And here's Richard the Good. But where is Rollo? We can't see that actually, I think. So we got William over here. Got Philippe. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to see. Family tree. So we got Robert, we got Richard, and we got another Richard. So Fearless, the good. I have a feeling that this might be Rolo, but I'm not sure because I don't know. I'm I'm not that much of a history geek to be honest. I don't know much about my history. So I'm just gonna say here, I don't know much about the conquering. So I'm not good at that at all. So I'm sorry if I'm like cringing y'all out. But I see all these hostile troops wandering from my land, so I'll have to attack them, I guess. We are marching over the plains when one of my officers mutters, Once I'm back in Wen, I'm giving up this soldiering life and maybe I will be a baker. I chuckle, considering my own more strategic aspirations. What about you, my lord? What will you focus on in the future? Logistics and organization, my man. I want to be more direct. I think, yes, definitely, I will never surrender a fight. Unyielding, I think I'll take this. Okay, we won the fight. Guys, w we've stopped the racism. <laughs> Wait, hold up. But obviously the speed is like high, so... There's obviously a lot of troops wandering through. Enemy commander slain. In the chaos surrounding the Battle of Rouen, or however you pronounce that shit. My men cornered Bishop Haken of Glastonbury, who was flailing miserably with his sword. I am told the foreman soiled himself as death came to claim him. Good riddance. Yes, good riddance indeed. Victory. So I guess we just fucking slayed someone. That's nice. You know, that's very nice. Uh, 
Um, yeah. So we got a battle going on over here, but it seems like they got it, to be honest. We got one children, lack of a guardian. I guess assign a guardian. Yes, because why not? We got this, one title can be created. Create 200 prestige. I don't have 200 prestige, so I'll pass with that one. What's the special minor titles grantable? No, nah, not really. Pick an ambition. So let's choose become steward. I love to become a steward. And I'm pretty sure in this timeline. Because I've played yesterday in this time era that you can like have the Hasashins, so basically shit from assassins and all that shit. Wait, try to imprison Count Richard of Uvro, obviously. We have 65% of success based on our relative. If we fail. But why should we imprison him actually? How old is he? 81! 81? Damn, that's crazy. I'd rather keep him, to be honest. I'm not sure why it's important, but... But why him, though? Like, I... Oh, he has multiple wives? That's... Uh, oh, she died. I'd never mind then. <sighs> Damn. 17? Bruh. That's kind of kind of cringe, man. I really like uh, looking at the families in these games. It's really interesting to see. So I'll just ignore that because the guy is like fucking 81. Which is, I'm pretty sure, the oldest person I've seen by far. Or so far, I mean. Um, hold up. Fuck off, please. I would love if you pissed off. Oh, the battle of EU. This campaign has been easy picking. Swinging my sword over the, the plains is a pleasure, and my fellow soldiers are equally jovial. Jovial? Whatever. Surrounded by the blood of our Anglo Saxon enemies. And the cries of battle. Look! Enemy Commander Duke Edwin is heading. Hiding! Someone suddenly shouts, pointing off in the distance. There you are, I've been itching to fight. Why do I have a feeling if I... A duel on the plains. I am swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly Duke speaks in pain. Dropping any... Dropping my flint mask, I am stuck staring at the mess I've made. It seems I've managed to crack several of his lips. I walk away victorious. I don't think the sound effects are working. Wait, King Philippe of France is now of legal age? What? I have received letters from Duke Edwin. Expressing a professional respect for my besting him in combat. The man is surprisingly easy to talk about other things too. Considering a part of me still remembers fighting for my life against him at the Battle of EU. To think that we that war could bring friendship. I mean just just think about uh, Metal Gear Solid, when Otacon asks Snake if uh, love can bloom on a battlefield, and he says, yes, I think. <laughs> but yeah, that's nice, I guess. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm allowed to go there. Oh, I am? Okay, cool. N not sure if I should be, though, but... No. Those are... What's this? The Holy Roman Empire. Um, yeah, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Alright, well. Guess we'll go back. Nothing to beat. So, yeah. 
What? What's this? One title can be created. Yeah, I don't know how, so I don't really give shit. What's this? Special minor titles. Grant them all. I guess a designated regent we give to Robert Count of Romaine. Mortain. We give Raoul Count of Vexen. We'll give that to him. We have Robert Count of Mortain again. Why not? We have William Count of EU. We have. Okay then. Though I do not seem to like this guy. So we'll just keep this guy as a friend to be honest. And you know what? Uh, why not? We're gonna make a plot to kill the king. Which is like 16, 17 years old. Who is marrying a kid okay then not sure why it wants me to do that but yes auto invite daughters yeah why not what could go wrong uh backers you mean my backer is he my backer or what? We can always change his opinion on me. Let's see. I'm trying to find something here. That's oh, I can't. Let's remove this. Yeah, I'll just do it on my own, I guess. Choose a plot, kill the kill the bitch. Let's fight people that I know. None, none. I never mind them. To the brave holy warrior William, your wisdom and mercy are legendary and intriguing scheme. I believe I will indeed back your plot to kill King. Philip of France. Okay. Okay then. I changed my mind. I like this guy. Let's send him a gift so he actually likes me too. And let's keep it at that. What's this? Characters with none of titles will dislike you for having fossils. Okay. These are my vessels. This is for okay. Interesting. Kaiser Henrich IV of the Holy Roman Empire has set up Pope Gerbert. Yeah, I can't really see it because like the recording thing is up here. So I guess I just have to believe whatever is sent there. We have a wife, she is 37 years old and this man is 42. Yeah, my, my guy was like, I played the same guy yesterday. And my guy became like 60 years old or some shit. Oh, what? That's a big rip to be honest. Um, you know what? Let's check military. Okay, man. Feel like we are gonna lose it, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. Sieg of Ar whatever. Norman the Norman Conquest has ended Duke William II of Normandy. Wait, my man is I oh, never mind. Plot the kill. Do it. Alright. 
Wait. Can I only have two plots? Or what's up with this? I don't get this. I thought I had a plot to kill this guy. Yes, do it. Here. Okay. Alright, well. This is rather interesting. I'm gonna lie. What's this? Unmarried heir. So, Robert of Maine. Wait. I don't want this to happen again, but... I have a fear that he might get killed by Richard the Nair. The Normandy, I mean. I don't know why I keep thinking of that name. But Robert of Maine, yeah. Wait, why doesn't she like it? Fuck. You will, you will like me. Woman. Unmarried heir. So he's unmarried, but we could fix that though, right? Yeah, we could fix that. Her husband is dead anyways. Wait, is she fat? Envious. No, I want a nice, nice woman for him. He's, uh, give Raul a chance, man. Shut up. Uh, arrange marriage. <sighs> Hold up, let me do it this way. Arrange marriage. It's for him and no, no, not a woman that's 50 years old. What the fuck? He looking kinda, kinda fly though. Holy damn. Race too long. Alright. Um. Let's see. Oh, he supports it, by the way. So that's cool. Let's let's get more backers of this. Oh, he will back my plot. Okay, that's cool. Perhaps the glass is fuller there, as long as it doesn't overflow. Okay, I guess I'm. My character's cynical now. I heard they changed a lot of the personality shit in uh, fucking uh, CK3. I've decided to institute the limited crown authority law in the Kingdom of France. Your status as my de jure vessel entitles you to vote on the matter. I guess I approve. Don't really care to be honest. France. That's. Oh, I'm a mom. I'm my chance. I guess. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I am burning up with fever. My nose is running and my head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. That's rip. You know, I can't read for shit. The first time I played this game and I saw this, I thought it said like. Free in Roman numbering, but yeah, he became a great eminence. Honest, he's honest, he's greedy, and he is a great eminence. The great eminence is the epitome of statesmanship, having fully mastered the art of diplomacy. Okay, that's nice. Does he have a? He does have a Wikipedia page. That's interesting. My man is like fucking 40, 44 years old, man. Crazy.
Let's have this mill here somewhere. My man, why are you up here? I woke this morning feeling much better. It seems that my illness has passed. I lied. Victory. Shaikh of Manurka. Mallorca? Spain? Is there ass from Spain? I I'm curious now. Since you got. Since, from what I know, Spain used to have Muslims. I may be talking bullshit, but that's. That's from what I hear at least. Because when I watched the series uh, Vikings, they were like in Spain and they were Muslims. And I was like, uh, is this? So I searched it up and apparently it's true. And I didn't know that. The church preaches celibacy and my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life I can't really decide if I want to enjoy life or wait for heaven wait hold up the fuck is hedonism uh, the pursuit of pleasure sensual self indulgence I can try some pleasures I hope celibacy doesn't bore me too much I guess. Why not? You know, it's interesting to have a son that has two of the most interesting traits to have at the same time. Greedy and honest. I mean, at least he's he's honest about it. <laughs> so there's not much happening actually. What's this? William the Normandy is now of legal age. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, he became a flamboyant schemer. A flamboyant schemer. Flamboyant schemers drive thrive on court intrigue and fancy themselves masters of the trade. However, their lack of secrecy tends to endanger even their best efforts. Okay, that's quite interesting actually. Okay. Uh, so he doesn't have a wife yet, but we can fix that for him, I hope. Um, arrange marriage. Let me think real quick. Um, uh, let's see. Sibling, she's 45. Never mind. This guy. Arrange your marriage. Richard Courchet. Richard de Normandy. We got William de Normandy. Let's go for Richard. And then we can have. Why not? Because he doesn't like me. We can change that. Two people eloped got married without anyone's consent except their own. And it falls to me as their leech. I either accept the marriage or do something about it. Order them seized, I guess. Open council positions. Chancellor. Oh, let's take my son Richard. It sounds so weird saying that. Marshall, to be honest. Okay. Cecilia de Normandy is now of legal age. She became a naive appeaser. I mean, we 
good. Here we are. But why not? Do I have? Oh, I'm missing a lot of. Must marry noble woman. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. What? A son was born to Drogo, the Briver, and Ele Eleanor, the Normandy. What? Who is Eleanor, the Normandy? Oh, it's. Never mind. Wait, what? I'm not following it, but okay then, I guess. Um, I think I'm just confusing shit. Let's see if we can fix something. Let's send him a gift. Let's arrange a marriage. Let's have my son. Let's, oh, he has nothing. That's just wonderful. Let's hope he has some some people. I I don't know if he likes me or not, but don't really care. Oh, he does like marriage. Probably. Oh no, nothing. Okay, let's take my son. Nothing. What? Come on. She's probably married, ain't she? Yeah, she is. God damn it. She's probably married too. Does he have any family? He has a sister, uh, I mean a child. Never mind. Well, that was interesting, I guess. The Pope has no family, or the Bishop, I mean. My mistake. How old is she? Well, it feels really weird saying that, but it's just, you know. But yeah, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I certainly did. I like this game. And I'm most definitely, or probably, getting CK free. So I'll probably make a video of that these days when I get it. And then see you guys next time. Goodbye.